What is up? Welcome back everybody to another video brought to you by Rib. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a GTA 5 server with Essential Mode, the latest version of Essential Mode, um, and CouchDB. So uh, there's been a lot of questions about it because GTA 5, 5 Reborn have changed the database side of things. A lot of the scripts now need you need CouchDB. Uh, the reason being, I think, is so you don't have to go and put in SQL files into Heidi or Navcat, etc. Whereas the scripts these days are coming out with that are already pre made for CouchDB uh, and Essential Mode, which is pretty damn cool. It saves us a lot of time. So, first things we're going to download everything from scratch. This is a brand new server, so we need to go to 5m.net. Okay, 5m.net. Um, I think it's .net. We'll soon see. .net. Yep, and we need to download this server here. So, it's a brand new install. There we are. So let's go to our download folder. Download. Where are you? 5M, 5M, there we are. The CFX server, that's what we need. Cut this. Let's just create a folder on the desktop. New folder. Let's call this test. It doesn't matter what you call that. And let's paste it in here. Right click it. Extract here. And this is our main server folder. As you should be aware from other videos, any resources ID scripts we put in this resources you need to add them to your sitmap but we'll show you that when we come to the essential mode mod scripts itself so next up let's go and download essential mode the latest version of essential mode and what essential mode is guys if you're not too sure it's what we use to add things to the database it's for the database it's so stuff saves so let's go to essential mode 5m and let's go to this one here Links will be in the description and let's download Essential Mode. So that's downloaded. Lovely jubbly. Back to my download folders. New folder. Let's just whack it in there for now. Whoop. Lovely jubbly. Right click. Extract here. So you'll have these two. This is the admin side of things and this is the actual uh, mode itself. So we need both of these. So right click. Cut or copy. Let's go into the test folder main route and go to resources and paste them in here okay right so what we need to do now guys let's go out of this we need couch db so same again back to google couch db and it should take you to the apache website this is a uh, german server hence why everything's german and this one down here link again will be in the description download windows download and it's downloading and when you install this it'll install to your C drive just to your main C drive so now what we want to do is go to our downloads let's find it do, 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 do. where have you gone where have you gone where have you gone I'm 3 sync chrome DX web I'm blind I'm blind Apache okay this one here double click doesn't matter where you put this because it will install on your C drive next I accept. Next, 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 install. Okie dokie. Finish. What we need to do now, guys, go into your C drive, go into that CouchDB folder, go into your bin, right click CouchDB application, and run as an admin. This will create the database for us. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, next thing. You need to go to 127.0.0.1 colon 5984, which is the port for CouchDB for the database, forward slash utils, forward slash, press enter, and it takes you to database does not exist. Lovely. What did I forget? Oh, I forgot the underscore. Let's try that. Underscore utils, and it'll look like this. Lovely. So it is a web-based uh, database. So what we need to do now is go to admin party. Let's create an admin. Um, so for testing purposes, let's just put test and the password tester. Create admin. Thank you, please. Okay, bugger off. I don't want to sign in Google. Okay, verify. You must do this. And verify the installation. Make sure everything's okay. Happy days. So when we boot the essential mode, it will be added into this database section here. So let's just minimize it for now. Go back to our fresh install, our root armor, armor, I'm too used to armor. Fresh GTA 5 install. 
and this is the main folder and what we need to do now in the sit map go to edit and we need to add those resources so first of all we had es underscore admin and then we add central mode okay save this this is where you change the name of your server uh, and so on right so let's just come out of this and let's go back to our resources and go back to essential mode and go to the config edit so our port here needs to change we need to change this to 5984 for the same port as the couch db save so the root so the password here would be test and tester test and tester save and we're all ready to boot up and give it a join right then so let's go to our cache HTTP we've never launched it before but always make sure you refresh your cache HTTP files can delete them and let's go to run so this is the first run ever on this server boot up come on you can do it with our two resources that's lovely jubbly so what we're we looking for we're looking for we should give it a name so we could easily find it let's do that again cache HTTP control all delete back to a sit map and let's change it to ribso so we can find it <laughs> oh excuse me I've just had a lovely Chinese I must say and let's change this to rib so say save come out of this we just did the cache so now let's run that again let's boot up 5m my side client side please say that oh yes I was gonna say please say my mic's on 5m 5m I make these videos not only for you guys but for myself to look back at if I have any trouble in the future then yeah I can come back to my own video and see how I did it so yeah it's a win-win scenario win-win situation come out of full screen mode windowed lovely servers so now if we go to ribso there we are it's that ribso say server is up let's connect and we're connecting and then we should go back to the database and we will find our our entry in the database so we know everything's working but we could just go forward slash admin and it'll tell us our permissions or we could spawn a car with forward slash car and it will show us that everything's working correctly so that is how you set up essential mode with GTA 5 the new essential mode with GTA 5 the links will all be in the description let's just get connected to this somebody wants me so my own IGTA survey is is back however it's a heavy uh, working development because there's a lot of scripts that need converting to this latest version of essential mode but we're back in as you can see and now if we go admin there we are it's all working and if we go car um, I don't know if this is gonna work yeah happy days so we're back boys, that's how it's done on the latest version, that's how you use CouchDB, and what a nice cave that is. Hope it helps, remember to like and subscribe, see us all again, adios amigos.